Hello and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Where, uh, I forgot that I was supposed to get new pawns between streams. Oops, I guess I'll get them on stream. Hopefully none of them will have names that I find objectionable. Well, yeah, we've got some things to do today, such as going to or towards the eastern border to learn about a pretender to the, the throne. Taught to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. And here we are at the big rift stone. Stop assuming I want pawns two levels above me. I don't. Give me a fighter and a thief. Quest knowledge, I don't care. Okay, so we can get Cauldron. Renalia. Busty McFist is an interesting name. Is Shay the only... Okay, no, Shay is not the only thief. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. You know what? Let's see your details. Oh, you've had some practice, I see. At least with two different vocations. So what can Thief do? They can stab things. They can dodge. Oh, Scarlet Kisses is just a core skill now instead of a, uh, an actual skill skill. Weapon skill. Yeah, this guy seems like he'd be useful to have. Oh, thieves can wall jump, can they? Neat. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Casey, welcome to the party. And you get to replace Kayla. And Kayla, you have been good to me. I will send you home with something nice. Uh, to have a Wakestone shard. All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. I'm not fit to travel yet. We still need someone else. I feel sorry for every pawn I see whose name is Main Pawn. It is a pleasure to meet you. If I'm not mistaken, this pawn has equipped basically just the standard starting fighter stuff plus a cloak. But that's a rank 6 fighter right there. With some nice things to boot. So, you know what? Sure, Farina, you are on the team. And you will replace Jordan Hart. Jordan, you have also been good to me. You get to go with the same thing. Be well, Arisen. I'm not one for tearful goodbyes, but I must admit, I've grown rather fond of you. Aww. It will be an honor to serve by your side. All right. Now to leave the rift. 
Wait, I should set a pawn quest. Acquire me a wakestone shard, and you shall get nothing, apparently. Uh, hang on. Acquire me a wakestone, and you will get a wakestone? Can I do that? I can't seem to give wakestones through here. That's unfortunate. Um... Acquire one golden trove beetle. I thought I had a ring that I'd be more willing to get rid of. I need to give them something commensurate. You know what? One trove beetle for this hood that I'm not going to wear. Seems fair. There you go. Something tells me like nobody's gonna do that, but whatever. Okay. We were gonna go to the Nameless Village, and looks like Monster Culling is on the path along the way. Hello, Outlander. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. I do believe this is the first time we've actually walked out of town using this gate. In fact, our map says that it is. In the event of a monster attack upon the city, citizens are advised to flee the vicinity and take refuge in a safe location. I mean... Over here, if you please. That does seem likely. Casey, why are you guiding me? I've already got the marker on the minimap that tells me where to go. Are you coming, master? Our path is here. I'm coming, don't you see me? I'm running along behind you. Wolves. They hunt in packs. We are under attack. Uh, pretty sure I attacked them, but... Use me as your foothold to soar to greater heights. Uh, what if I don't want to soar to greater heights? You ever think of that? I grant you roaring flames. Looks like maybe some goblins have those oxen agitated. Yep, that's goblins. Goblins are a nice quick solve these days. We trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. 
Yeah, Outlander, as soon as I finished my stream last night, I saw a community meme uh, showing what pawns are like whenever they see a ladder. You know, the two pawns with the mouths agape pointing excitedly at a ladder off behind them. They... They are very excited by the prospect of ladders. That much is quite clear. Map says there's a gatherable, but I look at things, it's probably up on that ledge. Whoa. Griffin! Oh, do we get revenge? It's the same Griffin! got a better bow this time, too. And we're fresher. I'm glad this griffin came to join us again. I thought we'd never see it again, especially not this far north. But here it is. We must grab it. Panicking will only pay to get it to the And we are absolutely going to kill it this time. And there we go. Griffin down. One pinion and one claw. Oh, Frigger makes little ice blocks. That's cute. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Well, you're not gonna. Why did you interrupt me while I was throwing a block of ice? So, uh, who's in charge of clearing this off the road? Because it's a bit of a roadblock. anything under the bridge? The answer appears to be no. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh hey, there's a campsite. Might as well clear I out the Saurians that are blocking it. So soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. I've got a pin! We'll have a hard time spitting its spells fluid at us now. And hey, we got a level for our troubles. There's no need to make camp here. We've energy enough to press on through. I just remembered. I've got this. Hey. 
Garnet's a logistician well, now. So she can to make camp only when the need arises. manage our inventory for us. Question is, under what circumstances will she do it? Does she just do it constantly, or is it only at camps, or what? I suppose we'll find out. Anyway, it looks like it's this away to get to where we're going. Oh, hello. I don't have lightning this time. I grant you fire's blade. Use it well. Walloped. This foe is not beyond our strength. It's just a Cyclops. Definitely become very clear how much value lightning brings to a Cyclops fight. Well done, Master. Apparently, a logistician thing has occurred. Don't know what, but. I believe we want to go south first. Yeah, let's actually uh, do monster culling. Okay, that isn't as close as I expected. Uh, map. Since we can see paths, looks like both will take us where we want to go. South takes us a little farther out of our way. But, I'm going to go ahead and go south anyway. The work is not yet done. On to the nearest location. Ah, logistic. The soldiers delivering there. freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. So, logistician pops up when our pawn crafts something. So, she had just crafted that robber that we got. That's my magic I understand. So doesn't Logistician also let the pawn take stuff from our inventory and shuffle it around among our pawns to lighten our loads? Oh, it's a town. Uh, you, you, you doing okay there, Casey? Oh, it's not a friendly town. I guess that's why Casey was running around nervously. Wait a moment.
your luck's run out, and mine's looking up. You think so? I don't know that I agree. I'll not be done in by the likes of you. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can not defend ourselves. I quite agree. Caster was hiding in this little house. Thinking he could avoid us. But then he started yelling about how our luck had run out. If he just hadn't taunted us, he might have put Ooh, Seeker's token. Now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Can't read the scroll. Oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Ooh, a fancy chest. What's in the fancy chest? Is it pants? Nope. Because that is our secondary goal for this stream is potentially find a pants upgrade. Preferably one that's actually pants. We have found a material. Hey there, Drake Great. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Well, at least this time they didn't try and teach me that you can combine materials to make things. Chopper horns. We need those. Climb on, and I'll send you soaring. I don't want to go soaring. I grant you roaring flame. I'm not the type of class that really does aerial attacks. Yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I've found ought. Not bad. So these greenish goblins are choppers, I guess. Wager there's ought to be found here. I'd we wager the same. Ooh, I'd wager there's a chest up there. Ooh, and a higher cave entrance. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery. But we ought not to lose our heads. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? One of our number is unconscious. 
Is it me? On my way. I got picked up and fell asleep again before I could press a single button. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. So close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. I would gladly be of aid, Arisen. Outlander, that does sound fantastic. I have one question. Oh, hey, there was a secret token here. Uh, my one question is... Can Sorcerer actually cast Anodyne in this game? Another Seeker's token? Nope. I didn't mean to slide down. I, I need to go back up there for that Seeker's token. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. Okay, Outlander, if you don't have Anodyne on Sorcerer yet, I imagine they just don't get it. Considering Mage gets it from the very beginning as not a skill, but rather just a core action with the weapon. Another Seeker's Token? I believe I've found the Seeker's Token cave. We got three here. Rather large for spiders. They are best left on An attack from unexpected quarters. Pray be careful, Rizen. Master, are you unharmed? Another encounter? I ill like this. Apparently it's got Seekers tokens because it's so full of leapworms and spiders. And yeah, Outlander, the Seekers tokens do gotta be somewhere. I just imagined that they'd be, you know, like, one per general vicinity. Because I can't imagine this map being terribly small, you know? For there to be effectively three in one cave. And it's not even a big cave. It just feels like a lot. And now, to check out this lower alcove. Ah. I had thought this was a cave, but no. Tis just a single mining outcrop. Oh. They're in battle. Use me as your foothold to soar to greater heights. With a bandit? You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. The Beastron Bandit. What are you going over there for? What's over here? I know this is the opposite of the direction we're supposed to be going, but... Had to at least get that icon off the map. Mm -hmm. 
I imagine you're not friendly. Yep. Well, we appear to have just shot their bowmen into the well. I suppose we should get into that well ourselves. But first, just in case... Okay, that didn't quite work. <laughs> oh, well. Tread carefully. There is no telling what might lurk within. A retreat yeah, no may kidding. be in order, depending on what makes this its lair. Place is called Spirit's Path, so I imagine, based on that and the uh, surroundings, we are going to come face to face with undead. Anything down here worth grabbing? Looks like no. Look at that tiny skeleton! These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Let my magic branch you in a lamental boom. You Good truly job smashing are that skull. Arisen. So there's a path out. Skeleton! Okay, apparently you can uh, shoot him in the face with a bow, and it counts just as well. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strength. It's almost as though I chose pawns of differing vocations for exactly that reason. I kind of wish pawns would be more proactive about picking up loot in this game. Like, chests they'll go for, but other loot they are apparently far less likely to grab. Oh, they they don't like me stealing their wakestone, huh? Where the skeletons? I doubt ice will be of any use again. Well fought, Arisen. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. Battle continues. Outstanding. That skeleton seems a little more potent than the rest. I grant you fire play. Well. Forgive me for being a person. My curious of magic are at your disposal. Oh, good job pulling that skeleton out of the bad spell. That one wasn't from ours. Um, can can someone crunch the skull real quick? There you go. Don't want to deal with two pawns on the ground right now. Casey, you should be getting in here instead of holding out your hand, but whatever. A flawless execution. <laughs> once more. That's actually kind of amusing. Uh, how about not once more? That was kind of amusing. Went to try and give him the high five, but then the tripping mechanic interrupted it. He was denied his high five. And it seems the sun set while I was out, or rather while I was in. There's a camp over there, not exactly reachable from here. Is there any reason to be on this little ledge? 
I don't see anything here other than rocks. And a box. Yeah, I don't see any reason for that ledge to be there. You got your lantern stolen by an NPC thief? Also, I see, uh... I'm not the only archer who wears this. I understand your pain, sir. Would that such tranquility could last. Right you are. Alright, let's get across this bridge and towards that campsite. What was that? Excuse you. I can't see the rock thrower. No well. Thank you. Be at ease. I'm here. I, I don't Please. think this dog was throwing the rocks, but. It's actually farther than I thought it was. Goodbye, dog. So I've got the augment that makes lanterns light more. It doesn't seem to be that effective in this game. Certainly not as compared with that Dragon's Dogma well 1. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. How do I get down there? Better question, how do I get down there safely? Over he here, thinks perhaps? we can move this boulder if we work together. Shall yes, we set it here. rolling? Which boulder? Saurian. Ooh, those. Oh, there's another campsite over there. Something's casting. Chimera, maybe? Another battle. It was nearly a moment to breathe. We must try to find a moment to gather our strength. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. Getting rid of their casters seems to be... A priority. I grant you boring flame. I do believe. Yep. So I don't think most of us are going to be of use against that. They certainly look a lot neater than they did in Dragon's Dogma 1. There we go. Is that one down? Doesn't seem to have dropped anything, though. It's a shame we need some miasmite. Oh, never mind. And what manner of combat is over here? A night-bound forest is fearsome indeed. It's closer to, uh, to campsite, so wary. let's figure it out. It is good to see you in fine fettle, my friend. There's aught I'd ask of you if you'd hear it. Hey, Curbster. I've been called out on duty, and the place is leagues away from my usual patrol route. Can't very well disobey orders, but the roads are perilous at the best of times, and I don't like to risk my neck for naught. So how's this? You come along and watch my back, and I'll make it worth your while. Did... 
Why did you hand me this on a piece of paper instead of saying it with your voice? You have my thanks. Are you kidding me? We're going all the way back there. But I just took all the time to come here. Hang on, beetle. Can we at least make camp first? What about me? I shot you in the face and you seem fine with it. Okay. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, now they want to fight, huh? Oh no, it's not them. It's... It's hard to tell who's friend and who's foe. But foes have health bars over them. So, how's about we make camp before we go marching all the way back? Wait, we want to cook first. Naught like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. And now to venture forth backwards by daylight. can't believe we got to go back the way we came. Even though one of our destinations is so close. But no. This man asked for us to escort him. And escort him we shall. We won't take him to danger. Is that one of those things my pawns always there. point out and say, hey, I look, it's a statue? statue? I can foresee no oh, reason yes. not to go see it up close. So I guess these are, well, yeah, it's a, clearly a statue now that we get a little closer. That's my magic's I see we've got more than just harpies here. Let's see what these statues are all about. One can see far to the distance from here. 
Where does yawn path lead? Only one That'd way to find out. To take stock of our surroundings. By yawn Quite path, do you mean that way? That's the way you're looking. Is there a path that way? That looks like Vernworth. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. Didn't check this building on our first trip here. I guess I couldn't be too careful. You weren't aggroed to me when I first walked in. I thought you were fine. Just some regular guy taking shelter. Discipline. <laughs> Might as well at least connect the paths that I haven't traveled on my way back. A goblin. That's a goblin. Not anymore, it's not. Looks like they still haven't managed to clear the griffin off the road. Might I interest you in my humble wares? Ooh, Dappledore. And Worm's Life Crystal. You got some nice stuff, but I can't afford it. But can you tell me where you found the golem this came from? Hope to see you again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Well, at least the corpse does seem to be rotting a little. They don't rot nearly as fast as they did in Dragon's Dogma 1, that's for sure. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Ooh. 
I wonder how many golden trove beetles you can use in total. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. We cannot break it from this side. Really? It? Now? You mean the, the bridge? What, what? What is the it we can't break? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I'm still... No harm in picking a few. Quite pleased that the griffin came back to find us. Especially so far from where we found it. Like, we were fighting it here. We killed it here. But it was the same griffin, and I love that. Was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Thank you. Is your duty to face the dragon eye. That's a lot to ask of anyone, and no one could blame you for balking from it. But you haven't. That's what strikes me about you, see? The sheer strength of your resolve. Any road, thanks for coming along. I understand better now. A gift, as a token of my thanks. Well, let's see what quests are in here right now. So this still wants us to return in a few days time. It's been a day's time. Uh, we probably should go check Mildred's home again. And then we'll get back out for this. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the... Uh, Brant, I see you've left me a message. Had I not encountered your majesty when I did, I fear this nation would have been led down a false path. My gratitude to you and to whatever power orchestrated our fortuitous meeting knows no bounds. I believe you are more than worthy of this token of my esteem, and I pray it will be of aid to you on the long road ahead. Of their work. Then a bribe. Is that a sword? That's a sword. I'm not the right class to use to that. Mess, should the time come. Excuse me. Ah, I see Garnet has uh, taken all our ores off us. I appreciate that. You know what? I think it's time to actually grab out all these books for sale. Wow, I've done a lot of mining.
I probably don't need 39 copper. Nor 40 beast skins. Nor 40 goblin horns. That's the DLC shield, so we're going to leave it in there. We've got two Featherlight Peltas, so we can sell one, no problem. And I think that's enough for us to sell for now. It seems I've collected a few too many things. Perhaps I ought to be more selective in future. I got that stuff out specifically so I can sell it, and now you've organized it into other inventories to make it harder to find for sale. Whatever am I to do? Gather round, gather round. And she only... She only moves stuff between my inventory and hers. She doesn't put anything on the other pawns, apparently. Even though that would make it a lot easier to share the load. Are you in the market for something in particular? I wonder, does select multiple sell the whole stack? It does. And looks like Garnet went and took all the monster materials off me. And all the ores. Oh, she did put some ore on this guy. Wow. Panaceas actually sell for a lot. Part of me wants to sell them, because... The, uh, the Halidom we've got on Garnet already does most of this job. But the stamina and health recovery could be good in a pinch. Yay, I can upgrade my bow. Yay, I can upgrade my bow. Oh, and I can upgrade her staff, too. Not bad. You don't have anything new for sale, right? Okay, good. Always a pleasure. Okay, time to get back out on the road. Judging by the exclamation mark on the map, the thing we can't break from this side is probably a bar on this door. 
But... Wait, no, 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 no. Also no. I don't know that I can break it from this side either. I'm not quite tall enough. Probably nothing too special anyway. Being inside someone's home so close to the city. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Griffin is in further stages of decay, but still very much blocking the road. You'd think that someone would have cleared it by now. Like, it's close enough to the city, and it's almost certainly interfering with ox carts. And this Cyclops, too. Honestly amazing how far we've come visually in just two console generations. Going from Dragon's Dogma 1 to this. I mean, sure, I'm not playing it on a console, but point stands. You're back. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Protect the shipment! Steal yourself! Cut the fiends down! Don't let them touch the shipment! How did this happen? We must defend the cargo! They're a tenacious lot. That's it! Alright, we good? I thank you for coming to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. Oh, we got another guy trying to intimidate us by circling us constantly. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. Yeah, Curbster of the... I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. I don't care who you are! I don't want pawns to try and sell themselves to me like that. I I do not like being interrupted by them. Oh, hi. But yeah, the water effects, it is bizarre. 
that they chose to just go with screen space reflections and all that. They could have done ray traced water reflections. They could have. Pray, follow me. Tis of dire import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Berman's eastern edge. I can guide you to the place arisen, or thereabouts. Why do you seem to be guiding me down the wrong no, we path? Lose our way. That. I got you, roaring flame. Yeah, the game was advertised with ray traced water reflections. Uh, it was also advertised with NVIDIA DLSS3 frame generation, which also didn't show up. Oh, hey, Mer Minotaur. Oh, nice. Stopped his charge. Is it just me or are Minotaurs like way the easiest of the large monsters? Because they sure seem to be like way the easiest of the large monsters. He gave me a bow and a plumed cap. Did he kill some ranger here? Follow me, if you would. Oh, thank goodness, that bow is under no circumstances going to surpass this one. And this hat is the one that looks really stupid, but would be better when upgraded. Thankfully, it's not upgraded right now, so I don't have to wear it. And, yeah, I didn't have to buy it with my own money, but since I got it, I'm basically going to have to upgrade and equip it at some point. So, we should have gotten some Minotaur horns out of that guy. Did someone else pick them up? It doesn't look like it. But I certainly broke his horns. Turning the lantern on just to give us better visibility in this shadow. Yeah, his horns are both broken. Where are they? Let me get that. Did I not get horns out of this minotaur?
Guess I didn't get horns out of this minotaur. That's lame. Would you mind coming over here? So, Casey, I, I have to ask, why are you leading us through this back path with a minotaur instead of, you know, down the You're road? You're take whatever you like from my pack, master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Nameless village, a mysterious settlement. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? Yes, apparently. You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seemed rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. Okay, but what if I have business to give you? You're clearly a merchant. Why won't you sell me things? Here to ask all of me, are you? Yes. Or no, apparently. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? Yeah, I'm just wondering about someone who's left this village recently. You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. <laughs> tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. As you like, sir. Oh, I'll have to remember this place. They won't miss it. I mean, they got a rift stone. Apparently, standing by a rift stone doesn't heal our pawns in this game. My lord spoke of you. Who's your lord? Come on, follow me. I've something real nice to show you. I like real nice things. Especially when they're ambushes that are terrible. Which I bet this might be. Hey, uh, did, did you see a Whatever kid come through here? From me. I guess you didn't. Nope, that's locked. Didn't the kid run straight into this building? Is that what's off about this town? Sorry for stealing your life savings, but, uh... As the monarch, it is my right to do so. That other door leads under here.
Yeah, that door leads underground. It's not openable. And the kid ran straight into the house, and the only other place she could have gone is through the door. Do I need to find a way underground? Oh, hey, an abbey. Type of place. Or an old noble manor, I guess. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. Have I? Who are you? I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. Sure. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. Ah. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thiefmaster. Okay. Is there aught else you care to ask? I mean, it's, it's very clear that I'm a very good thief. You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont. And you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Why mustn't you? Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. What, just for coming here? Once mastered, it will allow you to fail all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it. And do with it what you will. I mean, I'm clearly an excellent thief, but... I don't feel like I deserve that just yet. So, uh, I've gotten the ultimate technique for two classes that I am not. I'll go and open the chest. You mean the one that I literally just opened in front of you? I take it since this is some shady thief town... They're not going to have a port crystal around here. The day grows darker with our every step. We shall have to be all the more vigilant.
This is the inn. We've room to spare if you're looking to spend the night. Of course. Nothing's free in this world. Yeah, sure, but first. There's no reason not to get this. We've got an empty slot for it. Sure, it's not amazing, but it'll be helpful every once in a while. Yeah, let's get high, Frigger. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Yeah, Outlander, I know my lantern's on. It makes it easier to see things indoors with ray traced lighting going on. Oh, someone has checked out my pawn. And I got a like. I witnessed a stunning display of archery in my travels. Methinks our band would benefit from such skills. Are, are you saying I'm not a good archer? Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Rainy day, huh? Oh, I got drenched. I thought one of those slime creatures had shown up from the sound, but no. That was the sound of me becoming drenched. Hey, uh... Well met, sir. You wouldn't be able to open your door for me, would you? Your door that leads into your secret cellar or whatever? Garnet's Lantern's been empty for a while. I should... give her a little oil. I bet figuring out how to get to where that kid went is going to be key to figuring out what's up with this village. We'll probably find her in there and then she'll spill all the beans because she's a kid who don't know better. Folded letter? The letter most inscrutable. And I fear it will remain as such if we cannot find another piece to this puzzle. Let's take a look at this letter, shall we? A piece of brass. Sounds like a password to me. Yeah, Outlander, I know that probably no one's going to give me the Golden Trove Beetle, but I offered a piece of armor in exchange. It's... it's something. I wanted to offer a whole wake stone, but game wouldn't let me. Uh 
a piece of brass. What brings you here? More than you're willing to talk to me about, apparently. Hey, does the phrase a piece of brass mean anything to you? Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Gee, I bet the, the person who they're imitating is the Arisen. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? I Take care, then. But apparently there's still more to learn here. The volumetrics for this rainy day are certainly doing a lot to make the mood fit. Making it all gloomy. I'm still pretty sure that getting through here is going to be important to my investigation. But it's not barred on this side. <laughs> Having fun, Casey? Whatever it is, I'll thank you to leave me out of it. All right, then I'll thank you to give me what's in your chest. chest. I shall take a look inside. I just took a look inside. Fancy look at my wares. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? What you got? What do you know? This guy in Thief Town has some nice daggers. Wait, the Prowler Kerchief is... the same defense as my current hat but it doesn't appear to look different is it just a cosmetic or what it gets rid of my beard that appears to be all it does it just gets rid of whoop I don't want that half plate armor on. Yeah, the prowler kerchief just gets rid of my beard. It's the same as the, the hat that I'm currently wearing, just without a beard. What? Why would I get that? Howling Hood looks like it will be an upgrade upon upgrading. Oh, the kerchief is worn with helmets, I see. So in this case, it just eliminates my beard. Which is really stupid. Yeah, this isn't an upgrade yet. 
it would need to be upgraded to become an upgrade, and thus I will not buy it. The half plate armor is wearable by my class, but boy would it make me look weird. Oh, they've they've got Lionels in this game, huh? Spelled differently, but I think if upgraded, the Lionel Hosen would actually be at least close to what we're wearing. But Bush Raiders, a little closer, at least physical defense wise. So we could get a lighter camping kit. But what we're going to get is 10 more explosive arrows. Always a pleasure. Oh, you need a me. That is a lot of dried fruit. Fancy look at my wares. Too much excitement. And we've been drenched again. Something tells me there must be another way into the one house's secret underground passage. One path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Tis not no, for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. I am willing to accept your guidance, Casey. Pray, guide call me. Call upon me again another time. I know of nothing that demands your immediate notice. Okay. If you're going to tell me that I'm leaving the place where you can guide me, then just guide me. Something tells me he doesn't think he's actually guiding me right now. He's just trying to stay ahead of me. Yeah. Because I don't think we are supposed to do circles around the... Noble Manor. Do you know how I can get under here? What brings you here? Seriously, child ran straight in the building. There's nowhere for child to have gone other than into the secret door. And yet, there is no child. So what am I still missing here in this town? There must be something I've not yet investigated. Well met, sir. 
perhaps I'm meant to talk to you again. Ah, you must be the visitor of her. <laughs> nope. As you like, sir. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Bran. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. Do it. They, they said earlier that, yeah, I could use go to tell a pawn to go through with what they say they're going to do. But apparently in this case, go means just run ahead of me. So... When I set the quest to Monster Calling, his I'm leading you places thing shows up. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I guess he does want to just take us on the straightest path possible, huh? But hey, what if I want Nameless Village? How about that, Casey? His guidance thing disappears now. Seeker's token. Come to think of it, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. As a result, we move as one. Ah, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Uh, Outlander, my understanding is that... Uh... KC... Like, the, there's the... Pawn one icon for Monster Calling Nameless Village and Beggar's Tale. Which my understanding is that it means Pawn one, KC, has knowledge of these quests. And he suggested that he can take me to someone for the Nameless Village, but... Apparently, he's not leading me anywhere. Because earlier, yeah, he said he could take me to see the person. And then he immediately got sidetracked when I said go. And the quest still says to investigate the village. And all we know is brass. And the quest is still pointing here rather than back to Brant. Which means there's got to still be something to figure out here. Here to ask all of me, are you? Not that you'll say. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? If aught about our Humpot is here to begin with, though of course you are knowing, which is to say you have not. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care then. I feel like this door should also be somehow openable. But then again, looking through the windows, there's nothing but wood in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess detective work is the thing. The problem is... When I go anywhere where it feels like there might be more to detect... The, uh... We get outside the quest target location. So yeah, I am all but positive... That we are meant to get into the secret door here. I want to get into this door here. But I cannot. There's no way to harm our way through it. I'm taking your dried meat for being so unhelpful, lady. And I feel like if I were to unsheath my weapon to try and attack the door with that. It would cause an issue with the locals. Can't say I have any tidings to share. Well, why not? <laughs> oh, you've a sharp eye. Oh. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you. Sir Arisen. Yeah, I mean, I saw you following me a few times, and I definitely talked to you because of that. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz. Not mysterious about it. With our sources, and that's all I'm saying. But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose... I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you, I'd try doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? You need I me to follow somebody. I wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? All that obscure advice only to depart with nary a word of explanation. Shall we try doing what she did to us, then? Following someone. Are we meant to follow her? Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. How far are you going, lady? Oh, just out here, huh? If I were to give you I have a hefty wager riding. Okay, so someone who is in town I am meant to follow. Well met, sir. I mean I already tried following the child. But the door was locked. Still locked. Okay. So not that. At least not yet. So we ought to look for somebody who's actually on the move. I know the people up here have a tendency to go places when I get near. Don't bring trouble to my door, you hear? I'm not bringing trouble to no doors. You just... You two tend to separate when I get far away. Am I supposed to, like... Oh, is what you were doing not following, but rather eavesdropping? Were you dropping eaves? Can I drop eaves? I wasn't dropping no eaves, ma'am. Hmm. 
Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Shush, I'm trying to drop eaves. They hang out together when I'm not where they can see me. But when I get nearby, she turns around and he walks over to there. What if I sit? Behold, I am a non-threatening individual. Oh, hello. I have found if the that's path. Your destination. We cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. So pawns aren't allowed down here? Oh. What I wouldn't do for double vault. Why are bats in Dragon's Dogma games so violent? Checkpoint. Oh, you want me to shoot these, right? That I can do. I'm built for this. was closer than I wanted it to be, but we made it. First try, no less. There's a path I didn't take. Hang on. I, I see there's a bunch of people waiting for me, but... It wouldn't do if I was supposed to grab something from the secret path and present it to them. I can't show them that I'm unobservant. So, most of what I hated Leapworms for before was the fact that when you killed them, they gushed a bunch of defense down goo. They don't seem to do that anymore. I think I can rescind my prior hatred of them. They're still not great, but like... They're not the atrocious little things they once were. So they got a fancy chest. But it looks like we need double vault or... We probably need the thieves wall kick to get it. Yeah, if we could wall jump, this would be easy. But there might be another way. Okay, I can't grab a barrel, but I can grab a box. And there are several boxes.
Oh yeah, levitate could probably also get me there. One more box should do it. Who needs skills when you have ingenuity? Okay, there's an issue when it comes to getting on top of a second box. So what we can do is we can get these two boxes together, and then we'll get a third box. Get, like, actually on there, please, box. Thank you. Oh, stay there. Why? Why do you slide off? Okay. Dang it. I feel like the solution to our problem might be a fourth box. Oh, never mind. Ha-ha! I can't even equip it. And what if it's made of real gazer? That would be a huge upgrade, too. But it's not for my class. Still, I'll show them. They can't keep their treasures away from me. Just by making it so that you need to be able to wall jump to easily grab it. No, they just made me more determined. Alright, sorry fellas, am I late to the party? You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. I'm gonna steal your steak. You're thieves, you understand, right? Hello, child. You're here. I've been waiting for you. Why'd you lock the door behind you? Stealing your other loot, too. Oh, now it's just open, so is it? This is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is, his real name is Dara. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That's all you wanted to ask? Okay, so something notable. The woman clapping is the one who told us to 
try doing to someone else what she did to us. The guy who's holding his forehead is one of the two people who was conversing in front of the manor. He's the one who walked away to the corner. Maybe he's the one we were supposed to follow. Except the fact that he stops at the gate instead of going farther towards where we're supposed to get. Makes me feel like either it was supposed to be a more cryptic puzzle than, than I expected. Or maybe his pathing was messed up and he was supposed to lead us farther. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. You mean the manor that I went up to? We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. But I was told I was a master thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. What about the guy upstairs? He said he was the thief maester. Are you saying he was a liar? Was he the one doing the brass? That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Oh, I have learned two ultimate thieving techniques. You're the one then? Fine. I'd hoped I'd not be seeing you here. I'll not take that from you. What? Success? You won't take success this from me? Do. Yeah? What is it? You've my gratitude. So these people bet for me and those three bet against, huh? Huzzah! Huzzah indeed. I'm glad you knew which horse to back. Hmm. I've things to do if you don't mind. So you're going somewhere. You mind if I follow? A reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. Now to report to Captain Brandt. Have I... Been Allow here all day, or is it just master. naturally dark here? I know the person you're looking for. Yeah, I know the person I'm looking like for too. Is he's Captain Brandt. I've I've met with him before. Thank you very much. Uh, world map. Okay, so we've actually got this place fairly well mapped out.
none of the paths that lead back into town connect to places we've been. Or places we haven't been, rather. So, like, I guess, sure, I could go here and fill that out, but... There's still a whole heck of a lot we haven't filled out. Should I just fairy stone back? I feel like I should just fairy stone back, especially if it's getting late already. Now we shan't lose our way. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? Our first order of business is to go talk to Brant. Here we are. Ah, he's already waiting for us. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence. And ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. And with that, our task is done. Hey, it's another of my cloak Indeed. that I already have equipped. You've called more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. Well said. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? Yeah, he's wanted. This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? I wouldn't know. I've never seen the man. Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I'm... Ah, oh, but whoops. of course. Sorry. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, your majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Disa. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. So what's this dragon's gaze? Ah! Using it lets us see Wakestone shards on our map. Nifty. Does it work, like, forever or just temporarily? Since it can... Since it says we've only got one... Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, because we've only got one of each of these two, and... They... I assume, are one-time-use things. It says the number and location of shards that can be found will change over time. 
which implies that maybe it lasts forever? Okay, it's infinite. Neat. Nifty. There's only two Wakestone shards on this map. Wow, we were quite far away from things, huh? There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It is no simple matter to infiltrate should they fall into the hands of however a century loyal to me will be on duty at the time of your infiltration i have taken the liberty of informing her of our plan i am afraid she will be unable to aid you directly but she will know to look the other way if she spots you is there aught else you would speak of your majesty have you reconsidered the matter of investigating the false sovereign Should you infiltrate one of the palace's masquerades, I am confident that you will leave with some inkling as to the man's origins. I, I think I already know about the man's origins, but... As the true sovereign, I've no doubt this is a matter best left in your hands. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care. Your Majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Oh, believe me, I got that covered. There's a ladder here. There oh, sure is. Excellent find. <laughs> They're so excited about this ladder that we have climbed up and down multiple times already. <laughs> ah, there it is. Yeah, it is nice that our house came with a ladder to keep the pawns occupied. They need enrichment, after all.
We did get Minotaur horns. Garnet just hid them from me. In some inventory somewhere. These extracts are heavy. Why are scrags of beast and beast steaks the exact same weight? expect to just go straight over a wall there. And that Wakestone Shard is as good as ours. Right, door's locked. That should do it. Nothing ever seems to happen round here. Oh, my joints have been aching something fierce of late. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ever since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. What should I do? Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Why do you always have to rob this place? Just thinking about it. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen. Say, have you heard about the state of the river? I haven't. Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That might be why that kid is sick. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though to sold in shops, 
Mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. Yeah, I've already mined a bunch. You have my support. Though I have a feeling that between having asked for silver ore before and gold ore now, this child overly narrow here and ill suited to combat is perhaps trying to pull one over Ice on us. Is pricked. Well, I see this place has been cleaned up some. Not entirely. You still left some books on the floor. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature of this place. And what would you say that is? It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. Oh, why do you think they did that? In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Wow, how rude. Alas, it would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. I promise I haven't heard this conversation before. I just happen to have said things that perfectly matched what he was about to say afterward. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Fine timing, sir. Fine timing, indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas! They were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap? you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? Mayhap. What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? I am in your debt. With those spectacles in hand, I might actually get through one of my tomes. Pray, infiltrate the venue and find the storeroom. You are my only hope. <laughs> Yeah, they picked up this bookshelf and put all the books back on it. Most of the books back on it. This place has indeed been cleaned up somewhat. We still only got chapters three and four of this book, though. I want chapters one and two. I feel like I'm missing key information. I shall gladly aid you if tis within my power. But apparently tisn't. This ladder Look, looks a ladder. sturdy enough to climb. Oh good, I'm glad it's sturdy enough to climb.
Otherwise, things might have gone wrong when I climbed it. Oof, I only have five gold ore, and she wants two of them? Hey, look, a ladder! Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Please don't ask for dappled ore. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. In just a matter of minutes? Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops, or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. Of course. I don't seem to have blight cures. Got to sell off what I can while I'm in town. Wait a sec, did I see something shiny? Oh, it's that paper. Hey everyone, look, a ladder! What are you doing at my house, sir? My days are spent in solemn reflection. In front of my door? Do I not have any blight cures? Apparently not. And I apparently also don't have the means to make them, so I suppose they must be bought. Anything? Blight cures, five of them. Oh, wow. I see that finding the tunic and breeches was, in fact, a very good find. You don't sell any blight cures. Why not? Stop by again soon. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Should I give her five panacea? Bet those cure blight.
Uh, Steph, thus far, I can't really say. We're still dealing with not dragon related things. All oh, right, yeah, blight is what they call poison nowadays. I was looking for an item called a blight cure. But apparently that's not a thing. Oh yeah, cures blighted. I've got five right here. I already had them. I should have just tried giving them to her. Hey, look, a ladder! Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Oh, yeah. These are, in fact, antidotes for blight. And we've also got panaceas, which she would also accept. But there you go. Now that's just splendid. Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Tis a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. You have my support. Um, I, I thought you were taking it to the church. Thanks, sir. Honestly, I kind of feel like since she asked for the gold ore, I probably should have been trying to give it directly to the people who work at the church instead of giving it to anyone else. Anyway, it is now certainly late enough to do things. It is me, Ordinary Guard. Doing my patrols as usual. Oh, sir, if you please. Oh, don't mind me, I'm not an actual guard. Pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. What does your master need aid with? Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. Fine, let's go figure out what's going on here. Oh, what's this? Oh. Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You no, need only really. make a worthy offering in exchange. Yeah, I don't need guidance. It's lovely to see you. I just saw a new icon on the map, so I figured might as well check it out, huh? There's a ladder here. Oh, there's a ladder? Line. Oh, we know how much we love ladders in this house. My poor shoulders are acting up again. Came, sir. I must confess, I feared you would not. But I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. It's not for a murder, is it? I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. A child who's been asking for various oars? 
She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. A child who doesn't know who her parents are? And who has wished to meet her parents? It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Wait, what? She looks like him? And you want her to take his place? What? Diana, would you paint my mother a criminal? Ahem. Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offense. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? I'd be willing to ask the kid, but I will do no more than that. Splendid. Thank you so very much. Twas in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? You'll have to Sir wait, Ludolf's though. Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he set his sights on the watchhead's missus. What? Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. Who are you and why are you accosting me? But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method. Which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. That sounds neat. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Naught noble about him, if you ask me. Uh, can, can you... That tyrannical Sir Ludolf thinks he can do whatever he likes. And, well, mayhap he's right. He had the watchhead himself. C can you tell me where? That sounds like the type of thing I might want to help with. Also, why did you just follow me into that building to ramble about that? Who are you? Yes, Seth, he did in fact do just that. Anyway, it's time for me, Ordinary Guard, to get back to my Ordinary Guard things. We shall remain here. You are the Arisen, yes? No, I'm an Ordinary Guard. The captain gave me your description. He told you to look for an ordinary guard? Follow me. I thought you were told to look the other way, not to help me. Tell me twice. I've been in here before. Ooh, what's this? Writings of a soldier on duty. I cannot help but think it's strange. Pawns used to loiter about the Riftstone in droves, but I've not seen a single one for some time now. Tis difficult to imagine where they might have gone. I wonder if this bears reporting. Perhaps they've gone to hang out with the true Arisen. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. 
There are times when no one's standing watch there at all. No one, you say? Oh, yeah, just yesterday. So I want to go here and then across. But I think I want to be upstairs. Hey, look, there's stairs to go up. Do you recall that package from Batawa I delivered to Minister's Chambers last week? Well, just between you and me, I blundered and nearly tipped the contents out onto the floor. You should have heard the chiding ally say. I probably don't want to go into Deez's chambers. But I probably do want to go into the royal chambers and steal a wakestone shard. After all, it's my chambers. I was stealing my own shard there. I'd sooner stay out of the back of this very pocket. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. Yeah, Outlander, the uh, ray tracing effects in this game are not as heavy as they are in some games. Like, you still need a decently beefy GPU, but the thing is this game is far more CPU bound than GPU bound. So a lot of the time, any reasonably beefy GPU will have plenty of headroom to spare. Like if your GPU's got an 80 or a 90 in its name and doesn't begin with 20, you should be fine. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool. As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. I imagine I'm supposed to, yes, to wait for them to move along. Please, sirs, get out of eye shot. I am attempting to search his chambers. Unless he's hidden something out the window. Then I am finding nothing. What am I supposed to be looking for? Conduct a search of his chambers. I'm just supposed to search his chambers, so that means there's probably supposed to be something to find. And yet there is nothing interactable in here. There's just an open window. And he hasn't hidden anything on the balcony as far as I can tell. Am I supposed to get caught searching his chambers? Or is this supposed to also count as his chambers? Ah, his offices, I see. He was hiding a stability extract the whole time! Oh, hey, here's chapter two. In Vermund, the one with the power to overcome the dragon, known as the Arisen, 
is enthroned as sovereign, while in Batal, the protection of the lambent flame is held as absolute, believed to prevent the advent of calamity. Curiously, the two nations are at odds regarding pawns, those crossers of the rift. In Vermund, they are deemed faithful attendants of the sovereign, while in Batal, they are viewed as harbingers of misfortune. I looked right at what I was supposed to find. Then where was my interact prompt? Like, I mean, there's the big fancy scroll that looks important, but there's no prompt. There's no button to press to interact with anything. There's this open book. Can't interact with that. There's stuff on the table. Can't interact with those. I appear unable to grab anything here. So, please, Calfor, if you can tell me what I'm missing here, I would appreciate it. Because I probably only have so much time. The wall near the scroll. Oh! Secret door. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Um... Would that I could close the secret door behind me. Okay, so... Masquerade is being held over there. Well, well. Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. How did you get in here? I'm an ordinary guard. Why did you take my helmet off? Oi, who goes there? An ordinary guard. Who's there? An ordinary guard. Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Vilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But Ma asked the name of your companion. Sir Ordinary Guard. Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I would have been fine if you hadn't removed my helmet during this cutscene. Is that all you have to say for yourself? It is sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Still, you are welcome to come calling, should the fancy take you, and should you have the gold for it. Nah, I don't need that. Oh, that's, that's all we're going for, huh? I see my helmet's back on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get back going where I was going. 
me, an ordinary guard, who no one had any cause to be suspicious of. What's that about your guard and letting it down, fellow ordinary guard? Why, I know all about letting down my guard. I wouldn't want to let down my guard, especially not an ordinary one. Now, to go behind this tree... I, I see the mask goes under the helmet. I was never an ordinary guard at all. I was... a noble attending the masquerade. Okay, so Walder's spectacles also live in the hall. Behold, you've been misinformed, sir, but there isn't to be a masquerade this day. I have indeed been misinformed. How about now? Is there to be a masquerade this day now? Do you just let ordinary guards in? Mayhap you've been missing. The joke's on you. I was never a masquerade attendant. I was, this entire time, an ordinary guard. So ordinary guards are in fact just allowed in. This looks like a place to find spectacles. Oh, nope. No spectacles, just additional courtly attire, which I can probably sell for a fortune. Well, that's not spectacles either. Ah, there's spectacles. And they told me to wait for a masquerade to get these. All I needed to do was be an ordinary guard, which I am. Look how ordinary I am. Excuse me. Ordinary guard coming through. Oh, is it... It's morning. Maybe that's why they weren't having a masquerade. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Ah. So I guess that's what the rose icon on the map is then. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? I wasn't even looking at them. I was just walking down the path, sir. Oh, ho, ho. to think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. 
Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bak Batal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. I haven't been anywhere near there, sir. We may benefit from pursuing the information. Yeah, I've never been to Batal. I'm actually kind of wanted there right now, so... I'm going to have to go ahead and say no to that for now. I wish I got a quest for that one guy who got sent to slay a Dullahan. I'd like to go help. That tyrannical Saludo thinks he can do whatever he likes. And, well... My happy's right. Can you tell me yeah, where? The watchhead himself sent off to fella Dullahan. I, I just want to know where. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road. Though carts travel only by the sun's light. Stop by whose house? Oh, the watchhead's home, perhaps? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Something tells me a patch will come eventually that will make pawns stop pointing out ladders that have already been pointed out. Would that all my days were so let them talk. I shed it. Must be my winter Say, have you been to Hall? I have. It is a quaint little village down by the sea. Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. Why is that? I hear he sets out to sea on his boat, day after day, only to be returned to shore by the brine again and again. As if that wasn't queer enough, he's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes lies beyond the sea. Is that old man going to take us to Bitter Black Isle? I suppose losing his family must have driven him to madness. Is Bitter Black Isle coming back in DLC to this game? Oh, hey! Another courtly tunic. I have three now. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I thought you just said off to the market you go. Hey look, more courtly breeches! Three full sets of courtly attire. All without spending a single gold. Are you the master? Are you talking in your sleep? something readable. The role of the Oracle is integral to this nation and not one easily replaced. Thus, the Oracle's disappearance in the wake of the dragon attack on Melv is a grave affair indeed. 
and yet Queen Regent Deza has not seen fit to search for her, preferring to prioritize the recovery of our new sovereign. Just what does she intend to do about the impending coronation? Surely she has not forgotten that without the Oracle's word it cannot be made official. Yep, she's talking in her sleep. And why is she sleeping during the day? Maybe this building that I haven't entered yet or been near enough to have named is the one that I'm supposed to go in. Let Who are you? Time was, you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vernworth, but that's changed in recent years. You'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both races always favors the beastron. At least I've ne'er beheld a human with a beastron parent. Well, I suppose it might be possible, but tis unheard of. If we keep mixing, Someday, our kingdom will end up with more beastrums than they've got all in Batal. Oh, this one's locked. I'd sooner stay out of battle, where it's possible. You're still Jarvis, right? You'd best mind your... Yep. So wait, I, I missed. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to this lady, huh? Good tidings to you. Are you the arisen, perchance? That's me. I, I thought you might be the one. My husband spoke of you, you see. Tis through him I hear much of the gossip going around town. I suppose you're here to see him. You'll have to come another day, I fear. He's been sent out on a mission, and I can't say when he'll return. A mission to where? Tis a perilous mission at that. I've heard he is to fell a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I worry for him. I do hope he'll fare all right. Can you tell me where that is? Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? No. You mean... Not my Gregor? I'll go help him, just tell me where to go. Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please, save him. Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be of aid. Oh, hey, we were pretty close to there at one point. And it looks like if we were to go to Harv, that would get us there slightly faster. It's a shorter trek from here to here than from here to here. So, yeah, faster. Uh, let's just... If Brant is there to talk to right now, we'll do that. Otherwise, we are going to be on our way for that Dullahan. Oh, excellent find. Yes, ladders truly are excellent finds. Okay, Brant's not here. He's only here at night. Got it. Uh, gonna... Just drop by here real quick. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Have you found any of the items we just... So Four more for the Ring of Triumph, which I very much want. Give me that Ring of Favor and Protection. Yes. 
And still no new shot types here. Do come again. I suppose I am equipped to become a thief at some point in the near future. But, uh... I feel like when I'm about to go fight a uh, boss-type monster that I've never fought before is not the right time to be experimenting with new classes. Also, wow, these cost 150000 to buy and they sell for 1200 Talk about depreciation in value. Oh, wow. This card that grants entry to the Bordelry is quite expensive. Something tells me I need to keep it if I want to ever go in there, though. Do come again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. The Arisen is ever prudent uh, in the application of coin. Gonna go to my house to deal with some storage. Hey, look, a ladder. There's no need for an ordinary guard around here right now. Still traveling way too heavy. What do I have that's making all of this weight? I guess it's just, I've got a lot of dried fish, huh? Also, I should have used that ages ago. And now off we go to Har or yeah, to Harve. Can I pick that back up? <laughs> I guess you cannot use fairy stones indoors. Okay, good. It didn't actually get used. I'm glad they kept the forgery fairy stone animation, at least in spirit. We seem to have a ride without issue. But are we safe here? Hey, buddy, do you want to take me to Bitter Black Isle? Sending anyone into that cave. 
But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? Yeah, <laughs> this world's gone to the dogs. Sir Arisen, I am sorry you had to witness that. Jonas has been air harsher in his treatment of Beastrin since we were last beset by monsters. Yet how can he condone leaving a man to his death is beyond my ken. Listen, I know I have begged many favors of you afore now, yet I fear I must ask another. Though the chief has forbidden it, a number of us intend to mount a rescue. Will you aid us in our efforts? Pray, meet us at Stormwind Cave at the tip of the cape. Um, we must fly to the aid of those in need. Dang it, do I need to do both of these real soon? I mean, they're going into Stormwind Cave right now, and maybe the other guy's still got time before he meets the Dullahan, huh? Okay, so Stormwind Cave is, in fact, the cave here. The one that I thought I had fully cleared out. It is in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. Understood. You've come. I knew I could count on you. In we go then. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be of aid. Yeah, why does why do I need to have two people needing aid so quickly though? Ah, uh, there's ore, and I want it. But it takes time, but I want it! Cave speed run. Hey, look at this cave. Oh, it's not empty. I grant you fire's blade. Well. bit much. Uh, that Zorian was already basically dead. How many of their ill must we defeat? Several. Please don't ask me to kill their eggs. Still got another one here, though. So apparently Saurians are too heavy for me to pin to a wall. Uh. 
Oh, hey fellas. Nice use of Frigger. Oh, they're not too heavy for me pinned to a wall. And now to hurry on out of here. Wait. We're supposed to have one more yellow diamond following us. My guy, you gotta keep up. Put a little more pep in your step. Come on. He looks like he's trying to get loose. There, you're loose. Be good? Come on. We're on a timer here, bud. See Garnet's trying to heal him. Again, more pep in your step. Why do I have to drop him every time I go over the tiniest of ledges? What if I jump? Okay, if I jump, we get to carry him just fine. Alright, buddy. Down you go. You're going to have to climb on your own. This is twice that I have had to carry an NPC at least some of the way out of this cave. Fine, you want down, you get down. But also, pep in your step. Let's go. Uh, Sir, can you not tell I. that I am helping you? Beyond our reach. Me thinks I can make it over there. Might I be of assistance? Yeah, go. Climb on and I'll send you soaring. Though that chest has already been opened. Didn't quite reach. But again, that chest has already been opened, so... Water is now invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. I trust everyone's making it out on their own just fine now. Yeah, they're doing good. 
Which means I am free to run. So, it would seem your rescue mission was a success. No matter. You'll accept your punishment all the same. How can you say that, Jonas? Now you're just being cruel. Cruel, am I? And what do you call disobeying my orders? And endangering the entire village for the sake of one foolhardy beastron? You're banished. All of you. You'll find no welcome in Harv any longer. Um... Why am I just stuck here? It is not your place to question my decision. Now be gone with you. My patience wears thin. Okay, bye. Uh, we want this. And we want it quickly. Ooh, an all heal elixir sounds nifty. Um. Careful, master. We know not what to expect from this enemy. Oh, I know what to expect. It's more than I should give it. me. I'm trying. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elephants. The fire must be put out so our comrade burns. I shouldn't be firing this right now. We're on a clock. We're on a clock and meant to be going to find another boss creature. But, like, it's right outside Harv, and I feel like that's something that I should maybe be concerned about. taking us out of our way, but whatever. Follow the path. We're all alive. That's what matters. And yeah, it is not Drake time right now. And what yelled at us now? Was it the Drake or is it something else? It's something else. Hi, Cyclops. Um, sorry, now's not the time for you either. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Oh, great. Bridge is out. Oh, great. Bridge is out. Okay, so I do need to take this bridge. Okay. Stay now you're with chopper. Me, Wait a moment. He ran out just a moment too soon. Is pleasantly cool here. What with the canopy overhead. Stay watchful. There's no telling what might be lurking amongst the trees. Yeah, like an ogre. I um, agree. We're just finding every boss. I cannot assist you at present. Please stop playing with the ogre. It's not ogre time. I 
I can stop for a couple choppers, but it is absolutely not overtime. I wonder if that drag or Drake will still be there when we get back from Dullahan time. Hopefully it won't have caused problems for Melv. Or Harv. Harv, that's what that was, Harv. There's a bridge we can actually cross. There's no griffins gonna land here now, right? To the scoundrels who think it a jape to destroy local structures, spare a thought for the poor souls who have to repair the damage. It takes days it does. Enough is enough. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of No, I can't. You're not coming with me. There is a griffin about to land here. As much as I would love to deal with it, we're on a clock game. Why is it throwing every boss at us when we are on a clock? So what, am I going to find a minotaur in this little pass? I am trying to save a man's life. Okay, bandits are far from the worst thing I could find on this road. Oh, we've got a, one of them fancy poison Saurians. Certainly earned their name. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. That's not a good sound. Hunter. Try for the same result with our next attack. Oh, secret oh, token. Now, here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own. <laughs> No 
Instead of an attack, instead of attacking where it was, you should attack where it's going to be. Where'd it go? Went right here. Hey, uh, Garnet, can I get an enchant again? this or is it too deep it's too deep so then how do we get across be there a bridge somewhere because we Perhaps need to get over there no bearing on the matter but might I add I appreciate you carrying our heavy items but do let me know if you need a hand Sound the flame before it is too late Whoops. I'm fine. There's a path across. can actually do damage to it with non-magic weapons. Good to know. Anyway, I need to get up there, but apparently I can't, which means... Do we have to go through this tunnel? Please Lord let this just loop right back like around. Places yet unvisited. Fear not, Arisen. I shall be ready to respond at the first sign of trouble. Uh -oh. I knew I was coming for a dollar hand. I should have swapped my pawn's spells to get a holy spell. There's more than a few of them around here right now. Lot of zombies around here. I'm getting farther from where I want to be and finding bandits. Yeah, I, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. But there's a shan shiny, shiny. There's a fancy chest here. that apparently had a ghost inside it, but also a ring that, if its name means anything, might make it so that Garnet can cast faster. Yep, reduces time taken to encant spells. 
Garnet, you are losing some max health, but you are gaining cask speed. Oops. There was a fancy chest up there, too. Rift Crystals and another spirit. Are these? These aren't harpies, are they? Poison Pinion. Where am I? Yeah, I'm going the exact wrong direction. Yeah, let's let's not jump. I have an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. An option. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? I was given hope when there was a turn to the left immediately upon entering. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. It's grown quite Have dark. <sighs> Sounds like combat with the Dullahan still going on over there. But is there a way across for us? Well, that skeleton's getting brined. And I don't see any other way across. Of course, it's a little dark. I wouldn't be able to see it if it was right in front of me, but... Hey, that looks like a way across. guys are dealt with. Now, to find my way to that Dullahan. It's below me now. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put Can we climb it case. down? No, that goes up. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Yeah, the but road. now's Use not the time. To 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 okay, here's our way to where we want to be. It's Dullahan time. You? What are you doing? Something tells me shooting it in the head is probably the way to go. Ah! 
on, please. My lantern can't be turned on right now, apparently. Ow. Okay, we are learning things about Dullahans. Oh, my lantern ran out of fuel. I'm not used to the lantern being out of fuel. It's not out of fuel, it's half full! This Dullahan sure doesn't like targeting my pawn who has the augment that makes them more targetable. Bit off a little more than I can shoot, that's for sure. Feels like a waste to use these, but I need my health to not be zero. That's the important bit here. Is he gone for good? Hey! Trial, indeed. The one we surpassed with skill. What's this? Where's the fiend gone? Has it fled? Apparently. I can hardly believe it. I fought at Dullahan and she'll live to tell the tale. But fie! I've just remembered. Was it that your mission was to kill it, not to drive it away? See, I hadn't thought I'd return alive. But I didn't want to worry my wife when I departed. So you didn't tell her? So I took a letter with me, just in case. And when the tide of battle threatened to overwhelm us, I sent a runner to bear it to my wife. Mere moments before your arrival. Oh, so we need to catch the runner and tell him to... not? It would be an awkward thing for her to read my final farewell, only for me to arrive on the morrow, fit as a fiddle. Though I dare say she'd forgive me. Oh, it will be a blessing enough to see her again. I can ask for no more than that. Right, I'd best be off, if I'm to make it home before that letter arrives. Oh, and if I've not said it yet, thank you, sir. I'm well and truly in your debt. Yep, uh, have fun, it's go go beat that letter. It's ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this Super march stopping. never end? I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Wow, apparently these cages are super light. <laughs> What other manner of loot lies around here? Twenty seven hundred gold, not bad. I'm dead! 
They take like no damage until they're fully up. Leap worms in the well. Oh, excellent find. Oh, good. You found a ladder. I'm glad. Get your gold too. We need more of those. No, 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 no. Cancel. I wanted to jump so that I'd be able to see the leaf worms. Ooh, fancy chest. You're not allowed to eat that fancy chest, sir. Yeah, the moment they're fully standing, they take way more damage. A weapon called the Bane of Bones. Seems like that would have been nice to have against the Dullahan, provided I was a class that could equip it. Oh, another fancy chest. With a fairy stone, not bad. I imagine undead are just a thing around here, but like, can they be less of a thing? I want combat to be just unequivocally done, so that I can take me a nice little rest before going elsewhere. Yeah, it was superb, but it sounds like there's, yeah, there's still this. Almost died. There we go. Is combat like actually for reals done now? Okay, good. I want whatever light we can get here. Tasty, tasty beast steak. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Sounds Agreed. good to me. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. Certainly doesn't look like morning. What do you know? The ladder led to treasure. Quite a lot of treasure, in fact. I shall take a look inside. I literally just opened it, Garnet. Okay. Since we got an extra fairy stone, I'm going to use one to get back to Harve. And just check and see whether or not that drake is still around. Because <laughs> if it is, problem. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? It was a surprise to, to doubt my words is folly. For everyone I speak is true. Living's hard. 
Hey folks, you haven't had any Drake problems around here, have you? I'll gather this. It might be of use. Be nice if we could change our pawns' abilities at a Driftstone. I've been told to be wary of changing abilities outside of a vocation guild. But just in case there is, in fact, a Drake still on the path. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Yeah, Outlander, I've heard that at least someone had their game crash on them when there are multiple times when changing their uh, skills at a camp instead of a vocation guild. And looks like the Drake is gone and the bandits who were once here are back. I knew you would prevail, Master. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Outstanding. Look there. Methinks I spy aught of use. We ought to take a closer look. I guess maybe the chests underneath have respawned as well. But if there's no Drake, I don't really care. Generally used as a material. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it. What else we got quest-wise? Bring stuff back. Go talk to man. Go talk to girl. Wait for a masquerade. Stay at that house for a bit. Visit Melv. And keep an eye on the beggar. In due time. Well, I think let's go back to Vernworth. And given the time, I should stay at my house. Like the time in real life, not the time in game. Though, so, uh, I'll go return the spectacles first. And I suppose, since we're right here, we can also, if we spot the girl, tell her, hey, some noble wants you to pretend to be him. It's you. Hoy, Arisen. I was hoping you'd come by so I could thank you again for all your help. You really made a difference around here. Hmm? You wanted to ask me a favor this time? All right. How can I help? So, this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that'd work. I mean, I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. All right, I'll do it. But if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? Okay. I just wanted you to... If you wanted to do it, you could do it. I wasn't going to force you nothing. Why 
Okay, anyway. Oh. We are in the middle of an escort quest. Now is not the time to go down there. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. If you feel no, overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. Your job is already to make things disappear from my inventory and into yours. If you are saying that I am overburdened, it's your fault for not doing your job. We ought to put it to good use. Going towards the wrong house. Sorry, Daphne. Look, young master. She's here. Indeed. I could be staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. What a kindness you've done me. Now I can go and fetch a gift for Mother. Better be a nice gift. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing. Oh, you want a noon flower? And she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. Because, like, I could go get that. All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey. Now I have to help him prepare. Let's see. What else must I bring? What have you got? Ah, I almost forgot. In that goes. Here I was hoping I'd be able to find some ambrosial meat. This is a noble house after all. Let's see. Ah, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to help Sebastian prepare, but how am I to do that? Poisonous flora. I'd hoped to pack an antidote for the young master, but the shops had none to spare. It is not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? There might. The you want it? Around Mel it is not only poison the plant. Let's see. Ah, I almost forgot. I've got. Panacea on me, haven't I? Yeah, uh, I... How am I to help this man prepare? You know, the roads around Malv are supposed to be really dangerous. I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. Oh. And, okay, that quest does not say it's time-limited, so. We're gonna give this man his spectacles. And then call it a stream. Also, there is currently a cat sitting on my keyboard, so if anything gets typed, blame her. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Eh, not right now. I 
Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find Stop a stealing the church's greenware issues. Those are for the sick. Your spectacles, my oh, good man. You've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. I shall learn aught I can that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. That was certainly worthwhile. Well done, everyone. You, you gave it's me a book. That we rest and regain our strength before moving on. You must have already read that one. If I were you, I would tread lightly around the Queen Regent. Makes sense. All right, back to my house. And past its lovely ladder. Rather, not past its lovely ladder, but up it. I'm surrounded by winches on all sides. So, something that reeks of Cyclops. That would be a Cyclops material, I would imagine. But surely we can give them something other than a misshapen eye for it. A rugged bone would perhaps do the trick. So, one of those, and we've got a panacea to handle poison and sleep, so... We're good. I guess we can go turn that in. It seems Master Sebastian is lacking a few supplies. Shall we gather what springs to mind? There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. They love finding ladders. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? The nobles' quarter is a fine place to harvest ingredients? I hear the safest way. The lands around Melva rife. Tis not only poison the plants. Well then, I ought to be off, I suppose. I must confess, I feel rather uneasy. This is my first time leaving the city. I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. You have, and I have it with, for you. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? I would suggest... Hang on a moment. Uh, my cat has minimized my stream view. I need to find it again. There it is. There we go. 
Oh, I see she has, in fact, sent you a message. Oh. And it looks like we... No, this is all in our inventory. Okay, so. Uh, rugged bone for you. Reeks of Cyclops. And then you need stuff to cure poison and to cure sleepiness. So you know what? I'll spare no expense. Oh, apparently all heal is better than panacea. Maybe he needs a tent. My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Good Take luck. care, young master. Come back safe. Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward, so pray do come visit us again. I wonder if I'm supposed to maybe try and find him on the road at some point. Oh, just wait a day or so, then return. Oh. You know what? I didn't sleep all wink last night. Good day to you. Uh, okay. That's all you have to say? This is not the home I wish to be in. Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I... You've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. Poison, I hear it was. Poisoned by someone he was trying to get close to in your absence. Someone named Margit, I'm sure. But that's just a rumor. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. A bottle of wine that I'm positive is not traceable to our very own cellar. But I suppose it's not so surprising. A dastly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> it was a glad thing to see Sir Gregor safely home. It must have been quite the relief for Lady Margaret as well. So wait, I, I raised someone's affinity to, to the maximum just now? Mark Margaret, was was it you? How kind of you. Did, uh, you're supposed to like him and he's supposed to like you. What? Why are you after me? I want no part of this. I'm going back to my personal home and personal ladder. We ought to put it to good use. I could not fathom how special the Arisen, Arisen was till I met you. Now I do. I appreciate how trying it must be at times to carry such a momentous duty on your shoulders. But you oughtn't neglect your duty to yourself. I pray you will take any opportunities you can to recuperate at home and that this gift may be of some use to you when you set out anew. How does everyone know where my house is? Also, hey, we got a panacea back. Anyway, let's Shall rest till nightfall. Rest, Yes, Outlander, sleeping in your bed at home does trigger your pawn to get stuff. It's just straight up better than an inn. Rise, everyone. It is dark out, but our day begins. Shall we check our packs and be off? 
Feeling rested, I trust? And let's go talk to Brant before we actually call it a stream. much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen i know this sigil well tis the crest of the neighboring country of batal a land with which vermin has no official dealings at present let me see it reads true to our word we offer you the power of the godsway Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? I might. Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, Pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. A fairy stone? Phases. Now there's oh, a name money. to remember. Money and a ring of accrual, which I believe is the one that lets me pick more stuff up. It sure is. Time to ditch my max health improvement. As a reward for you, you will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. Oh, so I've been invited to the coronation. But what about there is the... much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your... Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, much is made of appearances at such gatherings. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Maybe I need to come talk to him while wearing finer attire. But either way, that is going to be it for this stream. And dang it, I wish I could play tomorrow, but I can't. So it's going to be a Tuesday when I am back. So thanks, folks, for dropping by to watch and chat and all of that. And I will see you on Tuesday for more Dragon's Dogma 2. See you then, friends.